Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the fascinating history of three canates that existed in Europe during the Middle Ages and early modern period. The Kazan Canate, the Astrakhan Canate, and the Crimean Canate. These three powerful states played a crucial role in the history of Eastern Europe and Central Asia. So let's dive right in. The Kazan Canate. The Kazan Khanate was a powerful Turkic state that existed from the 15th to the 16th centuries in what is now Russia. The Khanate was founded by the descendants of the Golden Horde, a Mongol Tatar state that ruled over much of Eastern Europe and Central Asia. The Kazan Khanate was an important center of trade and played a key role in the cultural exchange between Europe and Asia. The Kazan Khanate also developed a unique culture and language, blending elements of Tatar, Mongol, and Russian cultures. However, the Kazan Khanate's power and influence began to decline in the 16th century due to internal conflicts and external pressures from the expanding Russian Empire. In 1552, Ivan the Terrible, the Russian Tsar, captured Kazan and brought an end to the Kazan Khanate. Also, SS Russians did not like that Khanate very much, then they more or less killed everyone in the city as well. The Astrakhan Khanate. The Astrakhan Khanate was a Tatar state that existed from the 15th to the 17th centuries in what is now Russia. The Khanate was founded by the Nogai Horde, a confederation of Mongol and Turkic tribes. The Astrakhan Khanate was an important center of trade, connecting Europe and Asia via the Volga River. The Khanate also played a key role in the politics of the region, with its rulers often vying for power and influence with the Kazan Khanate and the Russian Empire. However, the Astrakhan Khanate's power and influence began to decline in the 16th century due to external pressures from the Russian Empire. In 1556, the Russian Tsar, even the Terrible, captured Astrakhan and brought an end to the Khanate, the Crimean Khanate. The Crimean Khanate was a powerful Turkic state that existed from the 15th to the 18th centuries on the Crimean Peninsula, located in what is now Ukraine. The Khanate was founded by the descendants of Genghis Khan's Golden Horde, who ruled the area as vassals of the Ottoman Empire. The Crimean Khanate was an important center of trade, connecting the Ottoman Empire to the Russian Empire and played a role in the slave trade in the region. The Crimean Khanate also had a complex relationship with the neighboring powers. While the Ottoman Empire was its main ally, the Khanate also formed alliances with the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and the Russian Empire at various times. However, the Crimean Khanate's power and influence began to decline in the 18th century due to external pressures from the expanding Russian Empire. In 1783, Catherine the Great, the Russian Empress, annexed Crimea and brought an end to the Crimean Khanate. And that's the story of the Kazan, Astrakhan, and Crimean Khanates. These powerful states played a crucial role in the history of Eastern Europe and Central Asia, connecting cultures and shaping politics in the region. Although their power and influence eventually declined, their legacy lives on to this day, with many cultural and historical artifacts and monuments still present in the region. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Until next time, take care.